Welcome to this single story home for sale here in Henderson, Nevada. We're about 25 minutes outside of the Las Vegas Strip. This home was just listed and it is absolutely beautiful inside. We're right here on Pecos Ridge, just off of Sunridge Heights. And we have this beautiful corner lot here. Get a little extra space with a corner lot. This home's 2,701 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, built in 2000, just remodeled. See fresh paint job outside, beautiful Spanish tile, mature landscape, 9,583 square foot lot. The three car garage in the form of 548 square feet. And wait till you see the inside. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna go inside and find out if this is the right home for you today. Listed for $7.99. Location, location, location. I'd love to see the front doors painted when you walk up to a home and you're gonna buy the home, the first thing you see is the front door. It doesn't matter what the inside of the home looks like. If the front door doesn't look good, you immediately get a feeling of what you're gonna see inside. So again, even if the inside is beautiful and the front door looks bad, it's just a bad start. I mean, it's the first thing you see, first impressions, right? So beautiful front doors coming in and doesn't disappoint when you see the inside. All right, we walk in, you see open floor plan. We are greeted with the dining room and a living room. 2,701 square feet, so large single story. Tall ceilings in this home. I love the architecture around this dining area with a beautiful light in the middle take my shoes off here because we have beautiful wood look laminate flooring that natural wood look and the home's been staged beautifully of course I love the recessed lighting yeah that's just picture perfect dining rooms four bedrooms three baths in this home so then we have our living room sitting area whatever you like this to be. They've done some work on the wall there in the form of some texture. And we have the guest bath. So a half bath here off the main area. Shaker cabinets. We saw those handles on the past few builds with uh, chrome. Wonderful sink. I like seeing the gold integrated with the black mat. And then we have the mirror with the light. And just some storage over here. So bigger than your average half bath. And into this front room. So this is a large bedroom. They have it set up more of an office, but technically it is a bedroom. You have closet here, add some closet doors, leave it open, whatever you like. But there is a closet, does have doors, does have a window that opens. It appears the side windows are going to be fixed and then this front window does it. So technically a bedroom and very large in here. 13 by 11 with this bay window. Upgraded ceiling fans. We're gonna see those in a few rooms through this house with the LED, really nice. The bright white LED, which I like to see. So you're gonna have your main living area, the kitchen off here to the right. But well, let's head this way to the laundry room. So no refrigerator, washer, dryer with this home. You'll be providing your own. 
We do have a sink in the laundry room, and this is much bigger than your typical pass-through laundry room. It's ultra wide, and then they have it set up a little bit like a mud room here. So you could convert this into racks for hanging clothes, just make it a fully function, functional laundry room, or you can kind of leave it set up as this mud room here, which I kind of like. So it just depends on what you need. Yeah, ceilings are very tall throughout the home, which is nice. And that brings us into this three car garage. Didn't do much out here, but it is a garage. The floor was painted at some time. We have a water softener loop, garage door openers on all of the garage doors, lift master, formula one with the whisper drive. Water heater over in the corner there, proof for your trash cans. So we talk about this self-closing door. This is not one of them. So that will come on, on inspection. But again, it's a really easy fix. And the reason I wanted to point this out is because there's going to be a lot on the inspection report. There always is. The inspector's job is to disclose everything he sees, anything he sees. So you really know what you're getting. So something like this. Yes, it's a safety issue. The door needs to self-close and it doesn't. But again, it's a very simple fix. An Allen wrench in three seconds and you can have this door self-close. But the reason I pointed out is because it's going to come up on the report. It's going to be an item. There's going to be a red flag. It's going to say safety issue. It's really the smallest situation ever. Like I said, Allen wrench in three seconds and that's fixed. But I wanted to point that out because there's going to be many things like that on the inspection report. And again, the inspector's job is just to inform. Of course, he could just fix it and make the door close, but that's not what he's here for. So I just wanted to point that out. Sometimes the minor, minor things seem to be larger than they really are. So, and that's why you have a professional agent that's done this so many times to work with you and, and, you know, talk you through some of these items. Now there's big items. Don't get me wrong. That are a big deal. It happens, but I just wanted to point that out for a situation where, you know, it may look like something and it's really not. So this is going to be the primary bedroom here. 17 by 13. And again, that same high end ceiling fan. We have a couple doors going out back here, the glass panels. This is a queen size bed, but you could easily fit a king in here, no problem, with nightstands and then a beautiful fireplace. I love the kind of the rough texture around the fireplace. You know, so many people just go with the tile, which looks good, but I really like this kind of rustic natural look and then that electric fireplace. Excellent. And we won't look out back just yet. We do have access here in a large covered patio out there. So let's take a look in this primary bathroom. Tall arch walking in. Beautiful countertops. Again, the gold with the matte finish, black. I love the little detail of the matte finish there. And if you look really close, there's actually gold backing on this matte finish. So you get a little bit of that gold hint. Maybe you can see it right there. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but the back of it's gold. So you get a reflection of gold with the matte. Just, just really, really nice. And I don't even know if that was intentional. Super clean glass shower here with the gold hardware, which you don't see the gold very often unless it's from 2000, but it's coming back and this looks very, very nice. Let me know if you like the gold here or if you prefer like the black mat or maybe a stainless. I think it's beautiful. Uh, same thing with this freestanding tub. They just, I love that they went with the gold. Everybody's so quick to just go with the matte black. So it's nice to see something a little different 
And I love when the faucet comes out of the wall like that. Big bubble glass window here for privacy. And then another sink over here, faucet. And then you have the, the vanity side and beautiful lighting. I think these lights are a little easier to see when they're not on. They kind of blow out the, the lens when they are on. So I just wanted to kind of give you a good look at the lighting here. And then a gigantic walk-in closet, plenty of room to hang clothes. All you need is to add some shoe racks and this thing is ready to go here. The shoe racks are definitely for taste. Let's see what's behind door number one. And that's going to be your water manifold. So there you go. So this is where all the water comes through and directs to each portion of the house. Looks super clean. And that's what we want to see. Okay. How are we doing so far? If you're enjoying my video or you enjoy my content in general, please leave me a like, just a quick click on that thumbs up really helps my channel. Let's YouTube know that you're liking what you're seeing and encourages me to make more. All right. So I'm, I'm ignoring the kitchen behind me and the family room, but I will show you the little bar setup. No sink here, but we have the wine fridge. Plenty of room for your bottles, glassware, whatever you need. And then there's a light above it as well. So maybe you have your, your bottles, you know, lit up or you have, you know, a little piece of artwork underneath that. Refinished vent. I love to see that. They use the original vent, but it's redone well. You don't see like chunks of white paint or blobs which you see a lot on these and it, and it just doesn't typically look this crisp, but they took that thing down, finished it, you know, put a really nice white coat on and put it back up there. And there's two skylights above my head. We'll show you those in just a second. We do have a linen closet here. We're going to check out these other bedrooms. So we've seen two bedrooms so far. This going to be bedroom number three here. Ten by eleven. Uh, it says ten by eleven. I, I I'm gonna argue with that. I think it's a little bigger. Feels a little bigger than ten by eleven. I've been in many ten by elevens, and this is not it. I'm guessing this is more like a twelve by twelve. But again, we want to verify measurements if it's important to you because the way we enter the measurements when we list a home. And I say we as realtors, some realtors actually measure every room. Some realtors look at a similar model in the neighborhood and just copy the numbers. Some realtors guess. All realtors are not the same. In case you were wondering. So we do, if, if the size of the room is, is important to you, the actual footage, uh, we can always measure that. Full bath. I love the tile work in this shower. Similar to the other bathrooms. Beautiful handles. More gold hardware. And it goes really well with this blue ocean tile. Really nice. New toilet. Yeah, beautiful shared full bath for these two bedrooms. And then into the fourth bedroom here. So plenty of space in this home. We are in the Coronado High School uh, School District. A very popular 89052 here. So another bay window. Again, I think this is just a touch bigger than what they label. A beautiful ceiling fan. I love the, the wood with the black. The, the, the contrasts in this home are really nice. And yeah, that six inch modern baseboard throughout the home as well. I have a little space on top of the closet, you know, storage, decoration. Whatever you want to put up there. 
Okay, let's take a look in this main living area here. So we'll get a sweeping view of the kitchen, but we'll start over here in the living room. Family room, TV room, great choice in lighting here. And this light's not too bright. It's just a subtle uh, light there. So I think it'd be very pleasant for watching TV or whatever you're going to do in this room here. And then we have that same fireplace we saw in the primary bedroom, which I really, really like. It's this rustic kind of real natural looking. It's a matte gray with the electric fireplace underneath. And I think simple and elegant, refined, you know, all those target trigger words there. That's what this is. Modern. was beautiful artwork. And a little peek out back. We will head over to this kitchen. So right above us is a couple skylights here, which obviously let in all the natural light. There's no shortage of sunlight in Las Vegas so far since I've been out here. So that should continue to provide beautiful natural light to the to the home without power. And then, yeah, this massive open kitchen wraps all the way around. I like the angles on this kitchen, very efficient, very open, <clears throat> very large. Check out the wood under the island. Really pretty, just a bit lighter than the floor for contrast. And it also matches the range above the hood. Excellent. Beautiful waterfall island with the sink in the island. Forno. Stainless. Refrigerator here. Check out the uh, controls on the refrigerator. Oops, someone left their water bowl. Yeah, so you got the controls in the door there. And then we have a couple drawers here. Ice maker, your, your deep storage. And I really like the double freezer situation because I don't know about you. I have the single drawer freezer with the top split kind of like this, but the single drawer. And there's things that you want to keep kind of long term that are bigger that just would kind of go in the bottom. And then there's those smaller things that you use all the time that would go in the top. So. I think that's a very effective way to where you don't have things that just get buried. You know, maybe one of those small items that you use a lot just kind of works its way down and then you find it a year later when you're cleaning out the freezer. Oh, I remember I bought this. So that's kind of what that's efficient for. I like that a lot. Beautiful handles. These are popular. I see these a lot right now. soft closed cabinets. I, I was scared for a second there actually, cause it kind of closed abruptly when I shut it and then, but it stopped right, right before. So you actually can't even really slam these. I mean, I'm not gonna slam it hard, but you can see I kind of gave it a little bit of force and wow, that is one of the softest closes I've ever seen, to be honest. Let's see, let's look at this one. Oh, that is so nice. Very, very nice sliders in there. And then we have this Forno six burner professional range. Love to see this. Massive burners, extra wide oven. Yeah, that's a beauty. Have a tile backsplash here. Very nice, just blends seamlessly, looks perfect. And then this beautiful wood range. I love when they enclose the range in wood and it just matches everything. And yeah, it matches that, that wood under the island, which I think is so cool. Wow, okay. And we'll keep moving. Lots of cabinets. Your pantry storage is actually gonna be these two larger cabinets here. So plenty of pantry storage and they're very deep as well. 
And then just a lot of cabinets in general. And then that same light wood that we saw on the hood and the island, we have some floating shelves here. But the tile backsplash all the way to the end. Super functional here. This is my coffee station all day right here. What are you putting right here? Let me know in the comments below what station that is for you. And then we have more cabinets in the front side of the island. This beautiful sink, gold and black matte hardware. I love this little detail of gold on the handle. And then a single basin stainless sink with all the fixins. Sinks come with a lot of accessories now. I don't think it used to be that way. And then we have the Forno professional microwave as well. So Forno appliances. It says the refrigerator doesn't come with the house, but I'm feeling like it does. Um, and the reason I say that is all the appliances are Forno, except for, well, they're all a Forno, and then they're saying the refrigerator doesn't come with the house, but I believe it does. I think that was just a, a typo there. But again, we want to get clarity on the refrigerator for you if that's important to you, because you know that that's a big cost that you don't want to have to incur when you're closing on a home. Then you realize you don't have a refrigerator. So something we would clear up before we even put an offer in. That's my job, to do my due diligence and find out as much information about the property as possible before you put in the offer. Find out who owned it, how much they paid for it, when they bought it, where they're going, what their motivation is. There's so many little facets to a home sale that we need to dig into and dive into before we even put in the offer. Because I want you to be the most informed buyer for your property. So yeah, give me a call today if that sounds like a service you would like. I'd love to help you out. This is my cell phone number, so call me, I answer it. You wanna to talk to me right now? Well, not right now, because I'm filming, but you wanna to talk to me today? Just give me a call. I answer my phone. That is my personal cell phone number. So we have this covered patio. I love to see the glass doors coming out instead of the slider. Nothing wrong with sliders, but I kind of like these better um, lately. So my taste is subject to change, but this week I like the, the glass doors coming out to the outback instead of sliders. Take a quick look down the side here and there's not much there, just a wall, okay? So no maintenance over here. And then you have this beautiful turf and this huge backyard, again, a corner lot, very private. You do have this tall wall here, but you know, the sky's the limit on what you want to do to this wall, how you want to decorate this backyard. It's turnkey ready to move in right now. Super low maintenance. You could add whatever you wanted though. You could definitely Add a lot of plants here, some fruit trees, whatever you like. And we're just gonna walk over this way. I have like this quarter to half inch rock here underneath. So just a nice, nice easy gravel to maintain. That's gonna be the side yard there for you. And yeah, this is it. So. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Give me a call today. Leave me a like. I'll talk to you soon.